Get ready to enter the amazing world of North Korea's most surreal laws. Can you imagine living in a place where it could be a crime to smile? In this video, we'll unravel the strangest rules imposed by the North Korean government. From a ban on smiling on certain days to restrictions on hairstyle choices, you'll be taken on a fascinating journey. Stay tuned to the end to discover why the simple act of falling asleep can have serious consequences. Ready for this adventure? Then, press play. In the hermetic world of North Korea, laws and regulations are as strange as they are unusual. This country, ruled for decades by a totalitarian regime, has established strict control over the lives of its citizens. However, behind the apparent seriousness, some of these laws reveal surprising and even absurd aspects that, if not followed, can lead citizens to face serious consequences, including imprisonment. Compulsory voting. Let's continue to explore the peculiarities of North Korea. Starting at age 17, citizens must vote in elections, a measure that goes beyond simple democratic expression. The government uses these elections as a strategy to identify defectors and punish them for their alleged disloyalty. Television restrictions. In a world where a variety of television options is the norm, North Koreans have only three television channels to choose from. In addition, all scheduled content is carefully vetted by the government. A constant reminder of the control exercised over the information that reaches citizens. Constant surveillance of tourists. If you ever plan to visit North Korea, be prepared for an unprecedented level of surveillance. Each tourist is assigned a guide who monitors their movements throughout their stay. Leaving the group or attempting to converse with citizens can result in arrest. Access restrictions are so severe that only certain routes and locations are permitted for tourists. Different calendar. North Korea not only has unusual laws, but also a unique calendar called Juche. Starting in 1912, the year of Kim Il-sung's birth, the country lives in the year Juche 111, while the rest of the world lives in 2022. This system, derived from the Juche idea, reflects the self-reliance of the revolutionary leader's vision. Three generations of punishment. The punishment system in North Korea knows no bounds. When one person is sentenced to a labor camp, his entire family is dragged into the same nightmare. The next two generations born in these camps must remain there for the rest of their lives. It is a punishment that extends over time and affects not only the offender, but also his descendants. Only officials can drive. On the chaotic streets of North Korea, driving is reserved for government officials. The regime fears the invasion of motor vehicles, so it restricts access to them. Can you imagine a car with up to 10 lanes for just one official? Some citizens find creative ways around this rule by registering their cars as if they belong to government agencies. It is a crime to consume foreign content. It is a crime to watch foreign movies or listen to foreign music. The penalties vary according to the origin of the material and are more severe for American products. From executions to prison sentences, the regime seeks to preserve the indigenous ideology at all costs. Internet access is severely restricted. While much of the world enjoys a wide range of websites, North Korea only allows access to an internal network called Kwang Myong. With only 28 sites available, most of which are restricted to professional use, the population remains disconnected from the vast digital world. Wi-Fi in North Korean embassies, not even a thought. The government decides where you live. The North Korean government even decides where its citizens live. Housing assignments are based on a family's relationship to the state. Living in the capital requires a special permit reserved for those considered loyal and close to the rulers. Making international calls is a crime. In an increasingly connected world, North Korean citizens live with the restriction of not being able to make international calls. Those who defy this rule can face serious consequences, including the death penalty. Complete control over communications reflects the country's isolation. Religion forbidden. There is no religious freedom in the country, and the state is officially atheist. Both religious practices and Western literature are banned. The distribution of Bibles can lead to executions, as in the case of American Jeffrey Fowle, who was imprisoned for leaving his Bible in a restaurant, caste system in the 21st century. Although the world has progressed, North Korea has maintained a caste system since 1957. Society is divided into three groups, core, 
wavering, and hostile. Loyalists to the elite, including Kim Jong-un's family, belong to the core group, while those considered less loyal are classified as hostile, a reminder of antiquity in the mid-21st century. To give birth in solitude and give the triplets to the state, can you imagine giving birth in complete solitude? In North Korea, mothers receive no support during childbirth and must go through it alone. In addition, if triplets are born, they must be given to the state and cannot claim them until they are four years old. A peculiar aspect of motherhood under this regime, unique basketball rules. Even the national sport has its own unique rules. In North Korea, basketball has strange modifications, such as awarding three points for a slam dunk and eight points for two-point shots in the last three minutes of the game. A strange approach to such a well-known game. Insulting the leader is a serious offense. In this country, unwavering loyalty to the leader is an obligation, and any word considered an insult can be punished as blasphemy. This rule applies to both citizens and foreign visitors, emphasizing the importance of reverence for the country's leaders. The government determines occupations. There is no freedom of choice of occupation in North Korea. The government determines the careers of its citizens based on the needs of the country. While the children of the elite receive privileged jobs, ordinary students face limited job prospects. National Day of Mourning Without a Smile. Let's change the tone and delve into the more serious side of North Korean laws. July 8th, declared a national day of mourning for the death of Kim Jong-un's grandfather, imposes the obligation to maintain a mournful demeanor. Smiling or talking loudly is forbidden, and those who do not show enough sorrow may face severe consequences. A tragic note amidst the eccentricities. Strict dress codes. Fashion is far from a personal choice in this country. The use of jeans or bikinis is strictly forbidden as they are associated with capitalist culture. Women who wear skirts must make sure they cover their knees and the regime expresses concern about the adoption of Western trends among the youth. Haircut dictated by the government. Let's start with some humor. In a country where even the choice of hairstyle is under government control, hair freedom is a rare commodity. With 18 approved hairstyles for women and 10 for men, the North Korean state exerts control over even the most personal aspects of its citizens. Who knew that choosing a hairstyle could be so complicated? Prohibited names. Beginning in 2011, citizens will be prohibited from having the same name as President Kim Jong-un. Those who violate this rule may be imprisoned, and children who already had that name will have to change their birth certificates. Control even over the choice of personal names. It is a capital sin to flee the country. There is no room for discontent in North Korea, let alone attempting to escape its borders. Because it is considered a capital sin, the act of escape carries extreme penalties, ranging from death camps to executions. The retribution is not limited to the individual attempting to escape, but extends to their loved ones as well. Falling asleep during a speech can be fatal. If you ever find yourself in a meeting with the Supreme Leader and doze off, be prepared for the consequences. In 2015, Defense Minister Hyon Yong-chol was executed in front of a crowd for daring to close his eyes during an official event. So keep your eyes open. And that concludes our look at the most unusual laws of North Korea. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the unknown. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content, give it a like, enable bell notifications, and leave us your comments. See you in the next video.